have members of my staff brawling in public. I absolutely forbid it. You do? Most definitely. Oh, good. I mean, oh, what a pity. I was quite looking forward to it. <laughs> That's not the impression I got. You mean to tell me that you were actually looking forward to this fight? Oh, yes. Besides, there was a point of honour at stake. What point of honour? Well, this person insulted Miss Danielle Favre. He forced his attentions on her. I see. Male chauvinism, eh, Mr Jarvis? Well, why not? Women like to be dominated. Nonsense. Oh, come now, Miss Courtney. The man is by nature the hunter. Oh, well, this puts an entirely different complexion on the matter. It does? Yes. <laughs> Much as I abhor fighting, I feel that under the circumstances, perhaps your motives were justified. <laughs> no. We can have our little punch up in the yard. Certainly not. Oh, thank goodness. You will settle your differences in a much more civilised and sporting manner. Oh, I quite agree. How about a game of chess? <laughs> the school has a perfectly good gymnasium. If you must knock each other about, I suggest you do it there tomorrow night after class. Where is Mr. Brown? He's just putting his gloves off. Oh, here he comes now. Yeah. Sit down, please. Uh, I have something for you. What's that? If you put this in his glove, <laughs> you'll be making his glove on. Yeah, probably my wrist too, no thank you. Like, excuse me, please. No, Tara, you do that after me, Trump. This is a three-round contest, three minutes each round. On my right, from the woodwork department, Nigel Jarvis. <laughs> and on my left, from the language class, Jeremy Brown. Now listen, I want a good, clean fight, remember this. I want no scratching, bulging, gouging, eating below the belt. Shake hands now, come out fighting. Oh. Right, seconds out. is going to kill me. We're going to lose our money. Yeah, we got to do something. I have an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, Mr. Woodwork, you box real good, you know? Thanks. <laughs> Listen, you boxed before? No, I once or twice. <clears throat> I don't reckon your Mr. Brown stands much of a chance. Well, maybe. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think I'd like to be in your shoes, you know? Yeah, no.
to thank you what you did last night. You were so brave. Well, it was nothing really. Oh, what? <laughs> Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, what is it? Oh, blimey, he's at it again. Who's at it again? That Ushpeker teacher, Mr. Jarvis. He's making advantages to Jamila. Advances? Yes, please. So I'm giving a kick in his backside. And now he's challenging me to a puncher. Oh, not again. No, I don't think you should go through with it, Ali. I mean, with all due respect, you're not as experienced as I am. Yeah. That is what I'm thinking. So I'm telling this to Mr. Jarvis. Good. The fight is taking place tonight in the gymnasium. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you said you weren't fighting him. Oh, no, not me. But I'm naming you as my substitute. <laughs> Members of my staff brawling in public. I absolutely forbid it. You do? Most definitely. Oh, good. I mean, oh, what a pity. I was quite looking forward to it. <laughs> That's not the impression I got. You mean to tell me that you were actually looking forward to this fight? Oh, yes. Besides, there was a point of honour at stake. What point of honour? Well, this person insulted Miss Danielle Favre. He forced his attentions on her. I see. Male chauvinism.